Hi traders, market starting with a gap up today, 0.6%, Nasdaq uh, 0.8, so that's a big gap up and in fact I'm not going long, I'm going short because I'm thinking market is more likely to be under pressure and come down. So take a look at Boeing here, which gapped up with the market today, 0.8% and I think it's going to come down under 328, which is right there right now, I'm short. It's probably going to make its way down, I'm short Boeing BA, hoping for continuation. RED also looks quite the same. This stock is up 9%, 8 and something. I'm about to short it as I believe it's going to move into, here we go, going to move down with the market. I'm short, 4,000 shares. It's moving, but not as much as I expected. QGen is the same. I actually missed it uh, moving to a new low and it just moved to a new low and pulled back up a little bit. I don't want to chase it down. So I was hoping it's going to bounce back up again, but it's not. Okay, I'm shorting here. I'm short 4,000 shares, QGen. Again, working in the direction of closing the gap rather than going up with the market. Well, BA is killing me. It's close to the highs and it's moving over the highs now. I need to close it. I need to close it. I need to close that. Out. An unpleasant loser in BA. It just moved over the highs. I was hoping to get some kind of a pullback at the highs. I did not. Look at this spike over the highs. It took me out. An unpleasant loser in BA. That's my first trade today. SIG is down 9%. Now look at this beautiful downside momentum here. Stock started with a gap down, continued now reversing. That's a very clear reversal opportunity here. And I'm about to short it right under 1970. Here we go. Just moved under 70 for a second there. Hope it's going to continue. It looks fine. Now take a look at Amazon here. That's a beautiful consolidation and again I'm only interested in going short today because I believe the market's going to come down. In fact it is coming down already. Now take a look at Amazon here. It uh, failed to move higher and I'm about to short. Shorting 600 shares of Amazon. Looking for a minimum of 5 points. I also have a 5 point stop loss so I'm risking about 30 sorry three thousand dollars SIG finally making an attempt to come down and I really love this technical formation I'm about to add another two thousand shares I'm already short four thousand up two hundred dollars you can see it here about to add another two hundred shares two thousand shares I want to add it under 1960 the buyers are at 60 look at the sellers huge number of sellers now they came under I'm short another two thousand shares so look at the number of sellers look at the number of sellers here seven thousand <laughs> shares on the selling side it should come down look at this pressure oh here we go here we go here we go here comes the panic here comes the panic oh I love that I love that look at the way it goes look at the way it goes I have 6,000 shares short look at the PL here $1,600 17 18 19 2000 any sign of a pullback any sign click the button and I've got a beautiful winner in SIG. So that went out fine. Finally saw the sellers coming, so the pressure added and beautiful trade. QGen as you can see here is moving nicely. I'm short 4,000 shares, up $940 and it came down. I'm covering now. Okay, left just 400 shares. Now the idea is, again, when the market is gapping up, it's more likely to come down. So stocks that are starting up are probably going to be under pressure. Look at the way QGen came down in the direction of closing the gap. Target should always be a bit over the gap closed. SIG continues. Well, I did not expect it to continue that much. Um, I took my partial over 19. I still have 400 shares. I'm going to reduce another 300 shares. Um, this is just absolutely amazing. Reduced now over a point in an $18 stock. So beautiful. Stock is down 14%.
look at the way it came down so glad I added so glad it's uh, it really is uh, a great trade and the first sign of a pullback right now reduced another 300 shares left just 100 shares it's working nicely I really really like ICPT it was um, I just posted it in the trading room under 117.90 so it's being supported here at the 118 whole number so watch the buyers here at 118 now they came down under I'm short didn't quite get it where I wanted to a bit lower 1000 shares short Amazon's doing great just reached my target 600 shares I've got more than I expected more than I expected eight points here seven points in fact <coughs> up $4,500 about to cover 500 shares covering now left just 100 shares eight points in the money look at this beautiful beautiful formation again it moved in the direction of closing the gap that was the plan RAD finally making its move too and again the market's moving down RAD is moving down Amazon moved down QGen moved down everything is working according to plan about to reduce 3600 shares up $1,700 left just 400 shares that's another beautiful trade I mean it did not really work as much as I was expecting but it finally came under pressure as the market was continued continuing to come down ICPT that's another beautiful trade here just over a point right here short 1000 shares up over $1,000 you can see that here and at any sign of a pullback I'm going to cover 800 shares now covered left just 200 shares uh, it's a bit spready it's uh, the volume is not that much I took a big risk with this one but you know the thing is that's why I shorted it in a lower size than I usually do I mean my average size for a trade like that should be over 2,000 shares and I took 1,000 and that is mainly due to the fact that it is a low volume high spread stock I don't usually take those but it worked out nicely now take a look at the S&P this is what I was talking about earlier uh, the thing is S&P started with the gap up and then it's under pressure you do not expect the S&P to close all the gap you expect it to bounce somewhere around here and you already see some signs of a pullback so the whole game the whole plan was to go short up to the point where it reaches the point of support this should be the point of support again when the market starts with a big gap up you don't expect it to crash today you just expect, expect it to be under pressure move down and then bounce up again now here's how I'm doing today so I'm having a really great day you can see my open trades here I've got uh, RAD, QGEN, SIGM, Amazon actually I've, I've left something of almost everything up like $600 on my open trades my closed trades here are almost seven grand so I'm up $7,500 that's a beautiful day my first trading day for 2020 finished in beautiful green thank you for watching our video before you go we invite you to join the TradeNet trading team our professional analysts will teach you how you can trade stocks from your own home without risking your own money click here to learn more about our funded accounts program if you like this video please subscribe to our youtube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos questions or comments please submit them below